scientists just discovered a material that breaks the known laws of physics. It's part liquid, part crystal, and it does something that should be impossible. It blocks light from every direction at once. This is the breakthrough that could change computing forever, and it almost didn't happen. For 40 years, the dream of photonic computing, computers that run at light speed, has been stuck on one fatal problem. By the end of this video, you'll understand why that problem seemed unsolvable, how gyromorphs shattered the rules, and what it means for the future of technology. Imagine a computer that runs at the speed of light. No heat, no energy waste. Processing power that makes today's fastest supercomputers look like pocket calculators. That's the promise of photonic computing, and we've been chasing it since the 1980s. But there's always been one fatal flaw. You can't keep the light contained. Inside a photonic chip, information travels as pulses of light through microscopic channels. But light is slippery. It leaks. It scatters. It escapes through angles you didn't even know existed. And when light leaks, your signal dies. Your computer fails for four decades. This single problem has kept photonic computing in the lab just out of reach. The search for a solution has been long and frustrating. In 1984, Israeli scientist Dan Schechtman discovered quasicrystals, materials with ordered patterns that never repeat. It was so controversial he was asked to leave his research group. But he was right, and in 2011, he won the Nobel Prize. Quasicrystals could block light from certain angles, but not all of them. Engineers tried everything, photonic crystals with perfect lattices, metamaterials with engineered nanostructures, even exotic topological materials. Each one blocked light from some directions, but let it leak from others. The problem seemed fundamental, maybe even unsolvable. Then, in 2025, a team at New York University took a different approach. Instead of trying to impose perfect order, they asked, what if we embrace disorder? What if randomness itself could be the solution? Using algorithmic design, they generated thousands of disordered structures and tested them computationally. And buried in the data, they found something extraordinary, a material that combined properties scientists thought were mutually exclusive. They called it a gyromorph, and it's unlike anything we've seen before. Here's what makes it weird. Gyromorphs have correlated disorder. Think of a forest. Trees don't grow in perfect rows. They're scattered randomly, but they're never too close together. Each tree maintains a minimum distance from its neighbors. That's correlated disorder, random positions with hidden rules. Gyromorphs do the same thing at the molecular level. Up close, the atoms look chaotic, positioned at random angles. But zoom out, and you see the pattern. They maintain specific distances and orientations. They're liquid-like in their disorder, but crystal-like in their spacing. This combination creates something called an isotropic band gap. Isotropic means the same in all directions. Band gap means a range of energies, in this case, light frequencies, that simply cannot pass through. Put them together and you get a material that blocks light from every angle simultaneously. North, south, up, down, diagonal, doesn't matter. The light hits the gyromorph and stops. No leaks, no exceptions. In laboratory tests, gyromorphs outperformed quasicrystals, photonic crystals, and every engineered metamaterial. The isotropic band gap was complete. For the first time in history, we had omnidirectional light control. So what does this actually mean? First, photonic computing becomes real. Not in 20 years, now. With gyromorphs, engineers can build chips that route light without loss, process information at photonic speeds, and consume a fraction of the energy. Imagine training an AI model in hours instead of weeks running climate simulations in real time instead of waiting days for results, processing medical images instantly, catching diseases earlier, saving lives. Second, this solves the energy crisis in computing. Data centers currently consume 1% of global electricity, and that number is exploding with AI. Photonic computers could cut that by 90%. That's not just good for tech companies, that's good for the planet. Third, gyromorphs prove something profound. Sometimes the best solutions come from combining things that shouldn't work together. Liquid and crystal, chaos and order, randomness and control. For 40 years, we tried to solve photonic computing with perfect order. The answer was hiding in structured disorder all along. The future of computing just got a lot brighter. 
and it's built on a material that breaks the rules. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing science.